Now it is the very exciting time where we get to find out what's in the box. Let's see if your guesses were right. Remember there are two things in my box and these two things are, are you ready? A spoon is the first one. And what's the second one? Maybe while we're showing, while I'm showing you what's in my box, you can think about how you can spell it. So we have a spoon and a mug. A spoon and a mug are in my box. Yay! And I can stir my tea with my spoon and drink from my mug. Now we're going to write a sentence about what was actually in the box. And so you will need your pencil, your rubber, and a piece of paper to write on. Um, can you remember the three things we must remember when we're writing a sentence? The first is a capital letter at the start. The second is finger spacing between the words. And the third is a full stop or punctuation at the end. So I would like my sentence to say, there was a spoon and a mug in the box. Let's think about that first word, there. Z, z, e, there, w, o, z. And remember, the letter A says O oh, after a W. So there was a... And what was in there? Yes, a spoon. Spoon. There was a spoon and a mug. Ready? A mm. And a mug in the box. B -o -x. And a full stop at the end. So there was a spoon and a mug in the box. And if you want a bit of a challenge, you can add in some describing words. Maybe there was a shiny spoon and a white mug in the box. Or maybe there was a big spoon and a small mug in the box. See how you go.